Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Chop Talk. Uh, I am your cowabunga dude. I am Andre C. And right over here, we have the biggest princess herself. She is the absolutely wonderful Melba. How are you doing, Melba? Biggest princess. Yeah, you're not the biggest princess. Not no, she's, the she's the jumbo princess. You're the biggest. Oh, princess. that there's a difference. Okay, okay. I'm doing great, Andre. I've had a pretty decent day. I went to the gym. I got a back day in. It was nice. Pretty sure I reaggravated my shoulder. That's okay though. No, I'm just gonna roll things. with it. <laughs> no, don't do that. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing all right. Got to get work today. Uh, dealing with some automotive issues, but I'm hoping to fix that by Friday, but I don't know. <laughs> Prioritize. We can figure it out. I uh, will figure it out. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about some RCW of the Hungarian Revolution variety. But before we do that, I want to thank each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for joining us here. Um, Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below because we love talking to you. We love uh, just chit chatting about all the random things in professional wrestling, whether it's a local scene, whether it's Japanese, whatever it is, we want to talk to you about it. And uh, don't, uh, please share us out, tell your friends, family, and crazy, crazy cupcakes. And don't forget to uh, <laughs> don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we drop a new video. Ding a dong. Hello, Loa. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so I don't have any graphics for this show because we decided to do this about an hour and change ago when we because I wasn't going to be able to do this the, tomorrow night. So we decided to do this right away. So I didn't have any graphics ready for this. So we're going. I off mean, the fire. arguably neither did they. They had graphics for every match. <laughs> They're all on the Facebook page. So did they? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, good for them. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah. so we were gonna kick it off. Son of Irish uh versus crude oil Cody Mac for the RCW mm -hmm. Alberta Heritage Championship. I, I've got minor notes for pretty much everything. I didn't take a super big amount of notes except for I think the last match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh headlock and the headlocks and the headlock takeovers were the name of the game in this match. They seem to really like working the headlocks, working the takeovers. I really thought it was good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, um, go ahead. Oh, so by cheating his ass off throughout the match, uh, gets him into the corner and gets the gold dust, golden globes, kicking that turnbuckle into the lower nether regions of Cody. Into Mac. the mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Mac reverses an Irish whip into a just crazy looking power slam. Uh, mm -hmm. The end of the match comes. Soy Boy goes for the sunset flip, but Max sits down uh, and just grabs the legs. Bret Hart on Davy Boy Smith and gets the one, the two, and the three. Or mm -hmm. Davy and Bret, one of the two. I don't remember. <laughs> it's that I, I wasn't watching wrestling when I was five. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're better with the move names than I am. He Anyway, um, there's something that uh, Mac did right at the beginning of the match. Well, first of all, he smacked his head on one of those chandeliers. He did. Chandel fucking leers. At least he got a hard hat. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, there was that um, that catch that um, Soy Boy did on him. And then he did it into the headstand, which he fed into that little choke Headlock thing? takeover. Headlock takeover. Is that no? no. The headlock. What? Well, yes. Yeah. No. You doofus. Listen to what I'm saying. He was on the ground. He did a head stand. How do you do a head stand to the hip takeover? What the fuck? Oh yeah. You're doofus right. McDoof. Right. It was right at the beginning. It was very TJP esque, and I only know that because I have some clips that I've been editing. <laughs> but yes, there was a lot of shoulder blocks, a lot of hip takeovers, but um. No, Mac definitely kind of dwarf and so I play a little bit on that though. It's, uh, the shoulder bless and hip toss is a lot easier for him. Mm -hmm. That being said though, Son of Irish really kind of uh, utilized his aerials and his kicks a lot to his advantage. It was a very, very fun match, but I felt a very short one. I would have liked to see a little bit more. It was odd that also that it was opener, but mm -hmm. was what it was with that one. 
Uh, do you want to talk about the finish? Like after the finish? What happened after the finish? A son of Irish took out the knee of Cody Mack. Oh yeah, he did attack the knee. So this isn't over. This is this is gonna keep going. Well, this wasn't for the title. Well, that's what. But the the ref held the title up. Yeah, but this match wasn't for the title. Oh, but the ref held as far the title as I up know. Beforehand. I don't know. As far as I, I thought it was. I don't know. I don't think it was. As far as I'm concerned, because didn't Cyborg win the Gladiator Cup? So he has an yeah. attempt at it. As I far as I so. know, this wasn't the attempt. So gets another attempt. I don't fucking know. I don't understand who's running this shit. Make it fucking work. This is the only good story that this company has going for it. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Make it work. Let's move on. We move on to the old fart Tyrone Ironside versus the Canadian Goose Kyle Shaw. Um, oh. I had to. I had to. The old fart of avoiding uh, Goose early, hiding outside the ring. Uh, Goose at one point gets the bionic wings into the fake out into the D, the DT Takagi style, but he only gets two. Uh, old man attacking the groin of Goose and uh, just beat and just beating him down. And uh, Goose catches the old man with a schoolboy pin to win the match. So the old man it goes down. Honk, honk, honk. Quack, honk. quack. Quack, 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 quack. I like Tyrone. I'm sorry. I like Tyrone. Oh, I, I do too. Please, I just, well, I just please like don't hate Hulk. me for the things Andre is saying. I like Tyrone. I just like calling him old because he is. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, this was a fun little match. I always enjoy seeing Goose. Yeah, I think it was originally. Getting hot. Be, I think oh, he was originally. It. Dean Richter, which I was like, oh, I wanted to see him face Richter. I mean, he's a big star now. Maybe they can't negotiate his pay. I don't know. I think Richter might have been at a county fair or maybe not bigger, a bigger fair than that. Uh, you know, a, a county fair in Edmonton, you know. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm going to go there. Yeah, it was getting yeah. hot as hell in the venue at this point, though. I think I had a couple of cans of pop up in my armpits. You did. Oh, it was funny. I wish I would have got a picture. <laughs> we move on to an the next match is for the RCW Canadian Tag Team Championships, and it is not the only tag team championship match of the night. It is uh, so Moon Dog. Manson comes out and he announces he's found a partner and he's crazy. And we all know he is crazy because he's middle. He's no, he's just very old and crazy. Vince Austin. And they're taking on the champions. Team Steve, Steve Wild and Steve, Steve, sorry, Steve, not so wild and T Steve Styles. Um, this might've been the first time in my life that I wanted team Steve to win a match. Uh, cause I didn't quite, I didn't like their opponents at all. So, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't mind Moondog so much, but his other, the other opponent, Vince, I was just, no. Um, they're doing just they this both had chains, too, which was already really uncomfortable. Yeah. So they do a bunch of comedy stuff early on, people grabbing at each mm -hmm. other, people just doing dumb little shit. Um, team Old and Crazy uh, beat up on Steve Wild for a while. Because uh, one's old, one's crazy. Well, well, one's old, but both are crazy. So, yeah. I, I was going to ask for clarification on which team it was. Yeah, old. Well, uh, Vince and Moondog. They're old and crazy. Mm -hmm. Then there's Team Steve. Um, mm -hmm. Pandemonium as Moondog is beating up Wild on the floor. Styles and uh, the old guy, uh, Vince Austin, fight, they're fighting around the ring. Um, Wild fights off the double team and gets the hot tag to Steven Styles coming in with lariats and they go for a heart attack that looked like styles ran into the back of wild and just and they just dropped vince austin and team steve gets the win um the crowd was really into team steve in this match 
like, especially the row in front of us, the bachelor party dudes in front of us were really behind Team Steve. It's because they were drunk and delusional. I, I need yeah. to understand for the people who enjoy this, what is it? Do you have something about people sticking thumbs up each other's asses? Just go downtown. Like, we don't need to pay to see that. We can just go downtown and see it for free somewhere on the street. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I like I watched this. I didn't I didn't take any notes this night because I was just enjoying the show and there was just also a lot going the frick on around me. Mm. And at this point of the show, we were also trying to figure out why our other show wasn't working. Yeah, uh well during the next match, I actually missed a good chunk of uh KB6's offense because I'm trying to get the hold of Bobby Munson and or Ed to get Japanese wrestling update because I programmed it wrong and yeah. We got it figured out. They got it figured out. We're all happy and good. We but, are. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I barely watched this match. I just wasn't yeah. interested. Oh, I, I watched in this match. This. I was, oh I, oh I, no, because where I was trying to figure shit out was during the next match. It was yeah, yeah. KB6. So this was when I let you knew there was a problem. Yeah. So yeah. So we go to King, the King of the French, KB6 versus Nasty Nate Nixon in yes. the easily to me the match of the night. The main event was great, but this just these two have known each other forever, back from the MPW mm -hmm. days, and they just killed it in here, man. The crowd mm -hmm. was behind both these guys. Like our side of the crowd was chanting for. For KB6, but we were chanting for Nate, and the other side of the mm -hmm. crowd was chanting for Nate. It was just awesome. Uh, yeah, it was electric, yeah. Nate gets this beautiful, nasty jump and elbow for two. He gets this nasty plex uh, going through the ropes. He's Suzuki style. Yeah. KB6 with a huge plancher over the top to the floor. Um, beautiful, nice rolling elbow by KB6 and follows it with a neck breaker. Um, this, and then KB6 got it, like, Nate gets in control. It's a big inverted TDT. Uh, it's controlling for a bit. But then KB6 was a huge comeback. Though. That's when I was with talking to Bobby, trying to get everything figured out. And I missed it. Uh, Nate it gets a huge air raid crash out of the corner. Uh, uh, Nate hits the now Melball named Nasty Bottom. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> yep. It, 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 it's 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 not it's still not as good as Power Bottom, but okay. And he gets a two I... count. It gets a two count out of it. Um, a huge oh. backdrop and the sky high spine buster by KB Six, but Nate kicks out at that last possible millisecond. Uh, mm -hmm. Nate nasty knee uh, to a running KB Six. And uh, I don't even know what I wrote here. Uh, KB6 NY Nate to score a near fall that misses. I don't know what the hell. Um, <laughs> he hits him in the corner. KB6 gets an, uh, an attitude adjustment, goes to the top, and Nate gets the knees up on the frog splash, and he picks him up, hits that nasty drop, smashing that face into the mat, and Nate gets the win and then he cut a really great promo putting kb6 over and just it, it was good i i really enjoyed this match this was e easily my earring match of the night yes is that right i don't even know no other way that way yeah that no that, right. yeah, like that yeah oh yeah. my god him microphone in the way there we go my fingers don't quite work. This was a fun match. We got a very excited. We got a nasty section. At least I think we got a nasty section. You can send me that. No, never. It's it's the nasty section that is lost Dick. the time. Dick. Dick. Uh... Dick. <laughs> don't know. I know what you're being for Halloween. Um, nothing. Dick. Don't go. You got the hat. Not anymore. I, I lost that last oh, year. Oh, right. You I, did I, I, okay, I left anyway. the venue along with my cigar. So. It's a shame. That's a shame. But yeah, this match was a lot of fun. We got really fired up for it. It's nice to see Nate again. It's been a hot minute since we saw him. Um, hope we see him more in the shows coming up. Excited. Um, 
this was the part of the show where I noticed that there was like no women in the card. Like none. Like, and I know cats work in the um the K days, but like then it's not of Irish also. It's just some it's weird. You couldn't spare a little bit. Anyway, extra money. Guess not. Um, but yeah, this is where I noticed that there was like no women. It was a very much a CWE show. No women, not even Rosa for refing. What the fuck? Yeah, and this is also where I noticed all the women in my my group left and didn't come back. Um after yeah. you're even getting mad at me for not wanting to sit there with the purses before when you were leaving. And I'm like, well, thank Christ I didn't. Well, because at that point, like I didn't know what was gonna happen in the parking lot either, right? Well, I don't want to know what happens in a parking lot. Well, when we saw someone faint, you dipshit. Oh, really? Yeah. Somebody fainted? I didn't know that happened. Yeah. You didn't tell me about that. Well, explain. Tell every tell everybody what happened. There, there's a there was someone that the show they had an issue earlier in the week with heat stroke and they did not properly hydrate and oh Mr. they fall mini styles. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he fainted again. Well, he was not doing so great in the parking lot, so we had to take care of him. So, okay. Well, when the, now, when the action returned after a 25 minute intermission, uh, it was a little long, but they were also serving food during intermission. They were serving a bunch of food oh, well, and everything. That's fun. So, it was that's and it was free, least. it was free food. I didn't have any. Uh, I just I wasn't really feeling super hungry that night, but yeah. Um, it came back with the Battle of the Big Men. It's the Barricade taking on Azrael. The return of Azrael. Uh, Barricade attacks Azrael from behind to start the match. Uh, he, he's in control for a little bit. Azrael fights back with the Lariats, eventually dropping Barricade. Uh, they're fighting. They do. They fight around on the floor. The crowd is really behind Azrael in this match. They really seem to take take to him. Um, Barricade beating up Azrael in the ring. Uh, Barricade gets his big old elbow drop for two. Uh, Barricade misses the corner splash. They end up brawling, and, and Azrael hits the running boot just right into the face, and he gets the win. Like a really fun match. From the side. I think they took a bit, it took a bit for the crowd to get back into this one because we were coming back from intermission. Mm -hmm. You know, it's getting a little bit later. So everybody, took it, but by the end, the crowd seemed to really be behind Azra by the end of this match. It was also hot. There's mm -hmm. Hades in there. And mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't a lot of refreshments. Uh, <laughs> they got they got a bunch more at intermission. They had water and other good, stuff good. that brought it in for intermission. Andreas good. actually skipped, uh, skipped the dishes, a bunch, uh, two big bottles of water to himself. That's funny. I mean, yeah. stay hydrated, guys. It's hot out there. Yeah. Um, again, I was outside at this point, so I don't really have too much to comment. I just can just say I, I Barricade has been kind of working heelish lately, so it makes sense that mm -hmm. that he was working heel. And mind you, I don't know what Steve Steve's were supposed to be. They were working face, but they're usually heel. I don't know what the fuck. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, Barricade has been working heel a little bit more recently since the split from um the Western Barra Kings. Um after they even big swinging promotions. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Dearly beloved. We gather here today. Um yeah, I was actually I'm kind of disappointed I missed this match because I was looking forward to seeing Azrael again. Last time I kind of saw him was in top talent and he was wreaking havoc there on Barricade's former tag team partner and manager. So mm -hmm. You know, I like the connection there at least. Maybe he's stalking these two. Maybe that's a story that'll eventually come to fruition somewhere. He's working his way up to, to King and Gussie. So Yeah, yeah. If we see them back again, yeah. Yeah. Well, it might be at a top talent show. We never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, so we move on to the main event of the evening. It's for the RCW International Tag Team Championships. Yes, RCW has two. Sets of tag team championships. They have like 19 belts, I think, at this point. <laughs> it is the, the debuting team of Aqua Adventure, Jared Rogers, and the Alex Rain. Alex. 
We love the Alex. You miss the Alex. Well, Kat and I, I love the I, Alex. I, I even mess you. I'm like, you're missing the Alex. <laughs> I know. And I was so brokenhearted. I'm sitting there like, frick, I can hear their music and the crowd is actually really excited. You could have ran up and watched it, but. I know. But then their opponents. abandoning my duties. But then their opponents come out and is the RCW International Tag Team Champions, the Rads, Rich King, and T. Why? Jackson, um, the the Rads are saying they want something if they win this match. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, you weren't there for yes. the touching. I had to. I had to touch tips with Andreas. Tips. I was touching tips outside. Yeah, I got everyone who was around me to do it, so I was yeah, there in spirit. But you, but you were making me touch tips with Andreas. Come on. You always touch tips with Andreas. No, I, I don't. I only do that because he's. He joins in on our group tip touch, but I don't want to touch his tip. He is literally the group. <laughs> uh, I like touching Poor tips with you. I always like touching tips with you and Kat, but then he just sticks his grubby finger in there. Poor Andreas. Shan the non believer. I love you, buddy. Yeah. So the Rads want something for if they win. And they have Aqua Adventure put their pool noodles on the line because they came out with pool noodles. Uh, really good match. It was really very athletic. Like, just a lot of crazy stuff. Especially T.Y. and uh, Alex in there together. They were just flying around. Even T.Y. and Jared in there flying around. Rich coming in, just being that perfect base, just tossing people around throughout the match. Um, Rich actually has Alex uh, on, on his back. And, or he's sitting on Alex's back, grabs his arm, puts the finger up, and forces a tip touch. <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. Um, T.Y. ends up kicking Alex from the outside. Rich hits the Tornado DDT, and T.Y. hits a Lion Salt for two. Um, Aqua Adventure working over Rich. Rich fights back. It's that beautiful inverted DDT to Jared. Hot takes T.Y. who has a, comes in with a super kick party to everyone. Drop kicks to both in the corner. He gets the Shinrai or the Slice Bread number two to Alex, but Jared breaks up the pin. Rich end up taking out Jared with the angle slam, but Alex hits him with a headhunter at running blockbuster, uh, Yoshihashi style. Um, everyone starts brawling. They take out T.Y. Double super kick to Rich. Jared holds Rich up, but Alex ends up drop kicking Jared with Rich diving out of the way, coming off the top. Uh, Rich then hits Jared or hits Alex with the eight six seven driver. And T.Y. comes off with the Swanton, and the Rads get the win, and they get the pool noodles. Tell me they, like, started hitting each other or somebody with them. No, they, they touched tips with them. They did the tip touch with the pool noodle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But cool, cool. but after celebration, they called Aqua Adventure back to the ring because they were sitting out. They came over and sat on the stage, looking very very depressed. And they and they gave them their props and they gave them back their pool noodles. And they <laughs> they were elated to get their pool noodles back. I mean, fair, yeah. totally fair. I would be too. Those yeah. things are fun to hit people with. <laughs> yep. Sounds like I missed a good one. I missed that. You missed a heck of I'm a disappointed with. I'm disappointed with myself. You should be. I'm disappointed <laughs> in you. Rude. But. Rude. But. But. We've come to the end of another episode of Chop Talk. Probably one of our shortest ones in a while. Yeah. You can find me on the X at that Canada guy, TikTok, Instagram, and threads at that Canada dude. You can find. Uh, you can find me um, on uh, Facebook at Andre Melball Wrestling Talk. You can also find me in the chats talking to people over on BAM Weekly because our stuff, once they get everything reset, is coming soon. Our audio is going to end up all the audio of all of our shows, including Chop Talk, because uh, it's a little bit for a different touch. It's going to mm. end up over on uh, whatever BAM Weekly might turn into, eh? Um, 
but yeah, well, that's that's coming soon. So check them out. Uh, Bam Weekly on Facebook. Uh, the the page is going to change names. So if you join now, they'll be part of it for the future. You can also find me over at twitch.tv slash our local establishment and youtube.com slash at our local establishment for uh, Marvel Talk and the Japanese Wrestling Update. You can also find our stuff all simulcasted over at youtube.com slash at backbreaker video. Thank you to Mike the Ref for all the great support. You can find him live on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref where he's what does his AEW watch alongs and all the gaming content he does multiple times a week. And if you want replays of that gaming content, go to youtube.com slash at backbreaker underscore gaming where you can find content from him, Mr. PJC, this guy right here, Mr. Rick Jules, and therefore frequent guest. Kayla J. Kayla J. Kayla J. Kayla J. We love Kayla J here. Yes, we do. Melbourne, where can they find you? Mm-hmm. If you're wanting to follow a Melbourne, you can follow her on the X thing at Collins Melbourne. You can follow her on everything else Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, and Blue Sky at Melbourne Collins. You can also find me on our local establishments programming Japanese wrestling update, as Andre mentioned, every Friday at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Unless it's not. And this Friday, it is not. We are just too busy this week. We are seeing Love ooh, love Pro Wrestling on Friday. So we are just too busy to do it this week. But we will be back next week. We just don't know what the weekend's going to look like. So we don't know if it's going to be pre-recorded or live yet. But stay tuned to our socials to find out about that. You can also find me on Astro Bazaar's YouTube channel where we do our show, Ladies Wrestling Showcase. Uh, we will have an episode probably coming out next week, but you can check out our last episode where we talked about Mercedes Monet and Stephanie Lacquier. So go ahead and check that out. If you're wanting to see an RCW show, we will leave a link in the description box below. It is a link to their uh, Facebook page, which will take you to their Eventbrite, where you can purchase tickets, or you can also get in touch with some of your local wrestlers at the shows, let them know you would like to purchase tickets from them, and figure something out there. Also, make sure you support all your local wrestlers and follow them all on their social media. Yes, yeah, so if you're wanting to also either become a wrestler, become a manager, or become a referee, we will leave a link to Top Talent Wrestling's school in the description box below where you can work with such names as Harlan Hey Abbott and I believe Mitch Claire works there also. Mm-hmm. Love of my life. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I've seen a spindly bindly. It has. It has. Sad Melba. Andre, my trusted friend and colleague, do you have anything else to say to the beautiful people? The beautiful people, the beautiful people, <laughs> da da da. Na, na, na. The beautiful people, <laughs> uh, So don't na, forget na, na. to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below because we love hearing from you. We love talking to you. That's what we really love doing. Uh, don't forget to uh, share us out to all your friends, family, and those that are too hot to handle. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we drop a new video. Ding dong. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and that being said, and I am your Melba. Over there is Andre. We will see you next time. Mwah.